Electric scooters have become a popular way for many people to get around, but riding them might not be as safe as you think. At least seven people in the United States have been killed on e-scooters. Thousands more have been hurt, but Haley's here with a warning from doctors today. Haley? That's right. Good, good morning, guys. So those rentable e-scooters that are popping up across America, they look fun, convenient, and inexpensive at a dollar a minute and then less after that. But as the scooter's popularity rises, so do rider visits to the ER. Last summer, Tim Belda crashed his e-scooter to avoid hitting his friend. My foot just took all of the... Yeah, the pressure and broke my leg, broke my ankle, and broke part of my foot. After two surgeries and physical therapy, Tim now does yoga to stretch injured ligaments and tendons. <laughs> Trauma doctor Vishal Bonsal says he sees cases like Tim's several times a week. The vast majority of these scooter injuries are either orthopedic or brain injury. The brain injury can be anything from a mild concussion to a severe traumatic brain injury. We're in the hospital in the ICU for weeks and weeks and weeks. And riders aren't the only ones getting hurt. He didn't know the scooter was coming. You can't hear them. And it hit him and he fell and broke his arm and hit his head and ended up with significant injuries. Dr. Bonsall says most of the injured are male, riding at night without helmets and are intoxicated. He's dismayed the California legislature just scrapped a helmet law, ignoring 30 years of injury prevention research. We've taken all that data, all that knowledge, all the, the hours and hours taking care of these patients and throw them away. He and Tim are concerned riders don't take electric scooters seriously enough. It looks like a toy. It's really not a toy. You know, it's, it's a motorized vehicle. That's right. And the first study on serious scooter injuries showed 40% were head trauma, 32% were bone fractures. The two largest e-scooter companies, Lime and Bird, are trying to boost safety by offering free helmets that you can order. Yeah, but so. for the uh, young men that had been drinking, you mentioned that statistic. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. not the first group I mean, to reach out. I mean, it's still a motorized either, vehicle. Though. Yeah, you got to use all the rules. You're right. The you see them there. If the helmet's not there, then I'm going to think you don't think about it. Yeah. Right. Getting on. Thanks a lot. Good morning. Good morning.